Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be an upper um, upper body with a core focus, and it's going to be we're going to have several supersets, but we're going to actually begin with the core. And let me first tell you that there are four rules that we follow. And the first one is if it hurts, don't do it. Second, if you need a break, take it. If it feels good, get after it. And fourth, most important, have fun. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna begin with the cords wraps on our ankles. We're gonna do a uh, ab series first. We're gonna get right into it, right into our abs. All right, so I'm putting them onto my ankles so we can get started. Now, I know that you guys have already warmed up and either way, this is definitely going to activate your core and get your muscles thinking and working. Okay, so these are all moves that we know we've done before. At least the group that are that is on has done these before. Okay, so we're going to go from one move to the next, and I'm going to tell you each move as we we get there. There are 30 seconds apiece, and we'll repeat this circuit twice. So the first move is a reverse crunch where we're laying down on the ground, push our back into the, to the ground, and we just bring our legs in. Now, if you wanna up the ante here, then just lift your head up like in a boat hold and bring them in. So get ready and come with me and let's go. In, don't forget to breathe here. So I'm doing the boat hold version going and pull those knees in to your chest. And keep going. I'm watching you guys. For another 10 seconds, bring those knees into your chest. And if you can, bring your shoulders up off the ground for another five, four, three, two, one, rest. The next one is where we turn around. We're in our plank position and we're bringing our knee in for a knee drive. Bring our knee in and you can sweep it up. Knee in, sweep it up. We're gonna do one leg at a time. So we're gonna begin with our left leg. I'm already getting hot, let me turn this off. Get ready. And if you haven't begun already, get on it. And you're on, go. Knee in, up in up knee drive that in knee drive to your chest bring your foot up knee drive the kick and make sure you land back in that solid plank each time land back into that solid plank land back in it i'm watching you guys for four three two one Good, let's get on to the next one. So now we're on our right leg, continue on and go with me. We drive in, kick it back, kick it back. Make sure you land in that solid plank. And rest right there, good. Okay, now we're gonna go to our side. I'm gonna do a side plank. So I want you to do a forearm side plank. Our elbows underneath of our shoulders, we're gonna stack it up. Now, your choice, you can split your legs apart for extra stability or put them on top. I'm gonna to split mine apart. I'm gonna come up, so get ready. Come with me and up. Let's go, hold that plank. Just hold it and squeeze and hold. And hold, you got this. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Good. Let's flip to the other side. And get ready, come with me, and 
up. Let's go. Hold it up. And hold. And drop it down. Good. Okay. Now we're going to do a starfish crunch. And what that looks like is I've got one leg, one arm down on the ground. The other one comes up and I'm crossing over. The other one comes down and then cross that over. So we're alternating fingers to toes. Fingers to toes. Get ready and come with me. We're on. Let's go. Come on. seconds. Try and get that leg up as high as you can. And touch. And rest right there. Nice job. Now we're going to turn around and we're just going to hold a plank. And forearm, forearm plank. Get ready. Come with me if you haven't already. And forearm plank. Just hold that plank. Squeeze it in. Get that your bun up a little bit squeeze it really embrace that core and just hold that plank and rest it right there we're going to repeat that circuit one more time flip over on your back for the reverse crunch and now we can go right through it so get ready and on our back, reverse crunch and go. Bring those knees in. I'm watching you guys. Good. And you can do whichever ones you want. You're grabbing your knees, or you're doing a boat hold version, or your hands down, whichever. And rest, good. Flip over for the knee drive. Left one. I turn my cords around so they're behind me. Get into your plank with your knee drive. Get ready, and let's go. I'm doing my left foot first. Bring that knee all the way into the chest. Kick it out. And flip legs. Get ready. Get that plank. We're going to the right, and you're on. Land back into that solid plank each time. Shoulders over your your uh, wrist get a nice pull right in there and rest turn to your side or the side planks now if you want to up the ante you can turn around and make it a dip so you would be on your forearm and you just bring your hip down and bring it back up. Hip down, bring it back up. And come with me, you're on, let's go. So, dip it down, bring it up. Dip it down, bring it up. Down, up. Keep going, you got this. Squeeze it in, bring that hip all the way up. So I'm doing the hip dip. 
dipping and flip sides. Let's go, other side. On my hip. And let's go, you're on. Dip it down. Almost there. Three, two, one, good. Okay, flip onto your back. We're getting ready for our starfish crunch. So that's opposite finger to the toes. Okay, so you're laying on your back. And let's get ready and go. So alternating, straight legs. And rest right there. Good. Now we're getting ready for our forearm hold. Okay, so flip over and we're just gonna do a plank hold. So I gotta move in so my cords, I can move them behind me. Let's get onto our forearms, get ready and go if you haven't started already. Okay, I'm just holding that plank, solid plank. Shoulders are my elbows, bringing up my butt a little bit squeezing it nice and solid. Brace that core. You should really be feeling these about now. Should definitely be on for five, four, three, two, one. Take a knee and take a drink right there. Take a drink. Okay. So we're gonna switch these to our, our wrists now. So you can take a moment, take these off. And we're gonna switch these to our wrists. Okay. And my timer off. All right. So we're gonna be doing one, two, three, four, five, five or six supersets. That means it's two moves back to back. And each one is gonna be for, uh, 40 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what our first move is. Okay, let me untwist my cord and put them on here. All right, so our first move is going to be a squat press, but we're gonna add a curl into this one. So my legs are gonna be a little further than hip width. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna do a curl, I'm gonna come up and do a press. I'm gonna take my watch off because it's gonna start talking. I know that. Okay. So it's curl, put my thumbs on my shoulders on the way up and press. Arms back down, come down, curl, up, press. Okay. So I'm gonna do a hammer curl for me. Thumbs and press. So you're really gonna have to fight and keep that in, in line and really use your core for that one, okay? So we're gonna start with that move. So let's get ready. My legs are spread apart. I would say come in a little bit so you can get the form right because you wanna make sure, get that form, don't worry about the extra resistance yet. So I'm gonna move in, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna come down to my low squat position and we're on hammer curl, thumbs to shoulders, press. Bring my arms straight back down. Come down, curl, press. Now you really gotta keep your back nice and straight for this. So you look straight ahead, hammer curl. Right here, I'm switching over my thumbs to my shoulders, press. Concentrate on that four. Press. Okay. 
You gotta really concentrate so your back is nice and straight for these. And rest. I'm demonstrating the first round with you in the second I'm gonna be watching. Watching you guys do it. All right. The next one is, I'm gonna drop one arm. And it looks like this. So I'm doing a reverse lunge and as I do reverse, I'm pulling my arm out. So I'm gonna do both legs. So it's reverse, pull, pull. And you get in line a little bit better. Reverse, pull, reverse lunge, pull, reverse, pull, okay? So it's a half a T. So you gotta really concentrate and actually, let me see something. Yeah, I like it better. I was trying to see if I like it better on the, on the side, but that's fine. Okay, so let's get ready. And you're on. Go reverse, pull. So really concentrate on this one. So you gotta take it nice and slow. going. I'm watching you guys. Another 10 seconds. And then you're going to switch to the other arm. And good. Okay, switch arms. Other side. And you're on. Go. Good. You got it. And five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Okay, we're going back to the squat press, bicep curl, squat press. We're gonna go right into that. So put them both on your wrist. Okay, you ready? And you're on, go. So wide leg, hammer curl, press. Come down, curl, press. Curl, press. I'm watching you guys. Make sure you keep that back nice and straight. Good. So it's that hammer curl. Keep your back straight, looking straight ahead with the press. The whole time your back is really straight. Looks good. 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 And don't lean in at all. You want to make sure you keep a nice back straight for four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, drop a wrist for the one. Reverse lunge with your pull. Okay, and you're on. Let's go. So you wanna make sure you're in line with your anchor so you can do a nice pull, pull. Oh, I lost my belt there. Pull and pull. So it's one side and so it's Seems kind of awkward. You really have to pull from your core here. You got this. Keep going. And rest. Good. Nice job. You're ready. <laughs> and other arm. And get ready and go. You got it, keep going. Let's step back and pull with the other arm. Good. 10 more seconds.
Good. And rest. Good job. All right, the next one here, we're gonna put both of them on our wrists. We're gonna bring out our leg nice and long here, okay? So we're gonna do a, a row right here, bend over row, row, and then we're gonna bring our up to a knee drive. So let's come back down, one leg, row, and then knee drive. Now, if you want, you can do an upright row on that knee drive. So this is definitely a lot of balance. So it's row, and then, now I lost my balance there. So it's row, squeeze. So when you do this, you're gonna pull your elbows really tight to your side, and then straight, Put your, push the foot, pressure into the foot that's on the ground, and then lift up into an upright row right there. So this is gonna take some coordination, okay? So I'll show you one more time. So my back, I'm in a long leg here. I row up, I squeeze real tight, I'm bringing my knee up. As I bring my knee up, I'm doing an upright row. And if you need to, tap the toe first on the way. So it's here, 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 okay? So it, it works better when you move it quicker. So let's give it a try. Get ready and you're on. Let's go, leg is back far. I pull it up to my side nice and tight and I come up, row, behind row, upright. Keep going, I'm watching you guys. This is tough, your butt's gonna be on fire. Good. So you really have to concentrate on this one. So get that leg nice and long here, behind you, so it's straight. My leg is straight behind me. Straight with that row and then Knee drive for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, shake that out. We're going to the other side. So let's get ready. You're gonna find one side is smarter than the other. It's gonna be harder on one side. All right, so get ready and you're on. Let's go. So my leg is straight behind me. I pull real nice and tight to my upright row. Keep going, nice long leg. So that you're standing nice and tall. So that knee drive is you're up nice and tall. Straight back and then Good, you got it. Five more seconds. And rest, good. The next one is you're gonna come down to the ground and you're gonna face away from the anchor. So it's a chest drive, chest press with a twist. So I put my thumbs at my chest and I'm pressing out, bringing in, twist. Press out, twist other side. Press, twist, okay? So it's press, twist, press, twist. All right, follow, go with me if you haven't started already and you're on. So it's get that resistance. My hands are at my chest, press it out, twist. Squeeze that press, twist. And good twist, a nice good twist. Come on, you got it. I'm watching you guys. Another 10 seconds. And make it nice and fluid. Nothing jerky, just nice and fluid. Five more seconds. And good, stand back up. We're going back to the first one. Bend over row. These take practice. So nice long leg here. This is the part I want you to realize, nice long leg, I'm leaning into it, okay? So I'm pulling, I squeeze it right up here and back so I get full resistance right here. And then when I come up, it releases and I bring it up. Okay, you're on, let's go. 
Nice, good long leg, flat back, flat back on that long leg. So get that nice flat back, flat back right there. Good, there you go. Squeeze and knee drive. Squeeze, flat back, good. So take it slow if you need to, because you want to make sure each movement is nice and purposeful. And as you do it, you'll see it starts to flow a little bit easier. Your cheek for the foot that's up front is definitely starting to get on fire. Keep going, five more seconds. And rest, good. Flip to the other side. Let's get ready, other side. And you're on. Come with me, let's go. Squeeze. And I lost my balance on this side. You got it, keep going. Good. Stand nice and tall. Don't let the knee take control of you. The idea is that you're just standing here straight with that knee up. So you're not leaning into it, you're just standing nice and tall. Each one's a separate movement. For four, three, two, one, good. Coming down for the chest press, twi twist. Coming down. Okay, let's get ready. And you're on. Press, nice good twist. Keep your back nice and tall, nice and straight. Tall and straight. Nice and tall. So when you, you wanna make sure you're feeling that chest, you're press, squeeze it. Come back and you twist. And I'm watching you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a drink right there. I want you to take a drink before you go to the next, the next circuit. All right. So the next two moves I'm going to show you, which is why you need it. Okay. So I'll have you watch. This is a half a burpee with punches. This is the first move. So. What it looks like is I'm gonna face my anchor, I'm gonna come down to my burpee right here, punch, punch, back down. So it's the thruster essentially, punch, punch, down, back up. So I'm in my low, punch, punch, where I'm not quite finishing that burpee, it's like half a burpee, punch, punch, okay? That's our first move. Are we ready? Okay, so let's go. Come on down, and you're on the clock. Let's go, so it's here. And punch, punch, back, come back up. Punch, punch, back, punch, punch. I'm watching you guys, your quads and butt should be getting on fire. Stay down low. You got 10 more seconds. Straight back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, so the next one here is a wood chop. So I'm gonna have my, so what this looks like is I'm gonna drop it to one hand. I'm putting one foot back here. I'm gonna bring my arm up side and I'm just chopping. Now you may wanna put both on one wrist, which is fine. So whatever weight works for you. So leg is back, sideways to the anchor. I have them on my wrist for the side, same leg that's behind. And your choice one, I'm gonna do one. And if you have the heavy cord, you might wanna just use the heavy cord. So arms overhead, chop. Arms overhead, chop. Arm overhead, come with me if you haven't started already. And go. Arm over. So you're holding that isolated lunge. The leg gets back. 
That's the side it's coming to. I'm watching you guys. So feel that, so rotate it around. Feel that in your waist. You're just chopping that wood. And uh, keep the back straight, keep the back nice and straight. Good. And rest, flip to the other side. So put, the, put it on the other wrist, right there. I'm gonna put that leg behind. So now you're gonna see me from this way. It goes up on the other, the leg that's in front is the arm that's up and I'm chopping. And come with me, you're on. My eyes are following my hands. So I get full range of motion, but my back stays nice and tall. So your back is still nice and tight and tall. Don't lose that. I go from one corner. So you really have to put pressure on your feet so you don't move. Up, kick. Five more seconds. You got that. And rest, good. Okay, now we go back to the burpee punch. Or actually, it's a half burpee, I should say. Both on one wrist. Put them both on. So, gonna get ready. So ready, and you're on the clock, let's go. Come on down, get yourself in position. Stay nice and low right here. Okay, punch, punch. So you're not coming up, you're staying in that bent 90 degree. My legs stay right down low to get your butt down a little bit lower. Stay down right there, stay down. There you go, that's it. That's it, stay down nice and low right there, that's it. So that you're feeling this all over. Come on, 10 more seconds. 10 more, you got this. Five, four, and rest, good. Okay, back to the wood chop. Drop one arm. Okay, so it's one arm. Remember, that's the leg that's behind. My leg is nice and long, and it's over my other shoulder, and you're on the clock. Let's go, chop. Don't lose that form. My body's nice and tall. Stay tall. Stay nice and tall. You got it. Keep going. I'm watching you guys. Keep that body nice and long. Remember, you're still looking straight ahead. Follow your, your hands with your eyes. Follow. Good. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, other side. Good. Let's get the other side position. The wrists were the same one. My leg goes back. Right? Nice and long. Remember, nice and tall, looking straight ahead. Still nice and tall. Don't lose that. Okay? Arms over. Don't lose that. You need to walk it in. Take away some of that resistance. And chop. You're on. Let's go. As you feel it, and you've got it, then you can move back. Actually, you notice the more you move back, the more assistance the cords are actually giving you at the same time. Keep going, I'm watching you guys. Your cheeks should be on fire. You got it. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, take a drink. I'll show you the next set. All right, so the next one is I'm going to face away from the anchor and I'm going to be doing lateral, I'm sorry, front raise to a chest press. So a standing face away, I can talk, face away from the anchor. Nice and tall, shoulders back. Remember, shift your shoulders up, pull them back. Okay, so front raise right here, bring them down, and then chest, chest press. So it's down, front raise to chest press. Okay, so let's go. Get the resistance that you need. 
for this and we're on. Okay. Front raise. So I moved down so I have more resistance to chest press. Front raise. Two separate moves. So make them that full range of motion on that front raise. Then bring it up, really good chest. Arms down, front raise. Remember, they only come up to our shoulder. Press, down, front raise, squeeze it, chest. 10 more seconds, you've got it. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Now we're gonna come down to the ground and we're gonna be doing a plank pull through. So I'm gonna drop one of my wrists. So you remember what this looks like. I'm gonna get into a plank position. I'm sideways to the anchor. Get a really good plank. I'm gonna spread my legs so I have a nice um, base. And this is where I pull it through. Pull. So come with me. So a nice plank and a pull through. So sideways to the anchor. Okay. I've got, it's the furthest one away. It pretty much makes sense. You can feel it, which one it is. Bring it through and pull. I'm gonna follow my hand, but keep your hips level with the ground. Don't let your hip lift up. So the key here is leave those hip on the ground, wide base and just pull, just pull, pull. Keep going, I'm watching you guys. Keep those hips level on the ground. going for five four three two one good nice job let's flip to the other side other arm and if you need to take a knee but try to get a wider base on your legs so that you can hold that plank okay whenever you guys are ready i'm watching you guys for the time and you're on Get the butt down, get that butt down, you're on the plank. There you go. Good, keep going, you're on the clock. You're on the clock. You got it. For five, four, three, two, one and come on up, nice job. Let's go back to that front raise to the chest press. One more time. You notice we're doing each superset twice. Okay, so to remind you, this is standing nice and tall, shoulders up and pull back. Make sure you're nice and tall. Raise, bring them down, chest press. Full range of motion, bring my arms straight down to my side. Front raise, bring them back down. Chest, start over. Two separate moves. So you're on if you haven't started already. Good. So you can challenge yourself with a little more resistance on this one. I'm sure you can come out a little further. And if you have the heavy cords, then you may be using that. Keep going, you got this. So this is where I would say, if you have a different set, a heavy cords attached with a set of wraps on it, then you can switch them between, it's almost like picking up an extra set of dumbbells. You say, okay, I'm gonna use this weight, now I'm gonna use this weight. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, coming down. We're going to our plank pull through. Go down to the ground. Get yourself into that solid plank. So I have a really good base on my legs. They're spread apart, still nice and flat. Pressure in the hand that's on the ground and pull. Okay, you're on the clock whenever you're ready and go. I'm watching you guys. Make sure that butt is down. So you don't need to rotate with it. Get yourself in that solid plank first and then just bring the arm up and pull, good. Four, three, 
to one other side. Nice job. Let's switch over. And I'm watching you guys so I can judge the time, the transition time. And you're on. And go. Get that butt down. Squeeze that butt. Bring it down. There you go. That's it. Just squeeze it. You want to brace the core. Squeeze everything you've got in. Now that looks good. That looks good. And pull. 10 more seconds. And rest. Nice job. All right. Take a drink there. Take a drink. Nice job. Okay. Now, the next next two moves, I've got a tricep kickback with a hinge. So I'm standing nice and tall. As I hinge, I kick back, come back up. So I'm going to glue my elbows to my side. So I want you to watch this a little bit different than our normal one. Glue my elbows to my side. As I bend down, I kick it back, stand back up. Slight bend to my knees, kick it back, come back up. Slight bend, kick it back, come back up, okay? So, elbows glued to the side. I have a little bend in my knees. As I hinge forward, my butt goes back, I kick it back, stand back up. Kick it back, stand back up. Okay, you're on the clock, I'm watching you guys. Elbows glued, good, and stand back up, good. So it's kick back, reset, back up. So you notice my, my triceps are bending in. It's almost like following my hinge. Out and in. Kick it back. Keep those elbows glued to your side. Stand back up. Don't let them leave. You should feel that kickback right there. As I'm bending down, up. Keep going. This should be all fire about now. So it's, you're not bending all the way over. It's just a slight little hinge. Little flat back here, back up. Five more seconds, back up. And back up. And rest. Nice job right there. Shake them out. They should be on fire if you did that. <laughs> if you did that, right? Okay. All right, the next one we're just gonna, we're gonna do a bicep. So we're just doing a solid bicep curl. All right, arms are straight, here, and pull. Really get good resistance and pull. And you're on, let's go. I'm doing a hammer and pull. So I'm keeping them at my shoulder the whole time and pull. So we're doing a super set back and forth of these two. Keep going, 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's go right into the tricep. Pull and burn the knees out together. So let's go. Kick and kick it back and stand up. Slight hinge. Squeeze it back up. Squeeze it back up. Squeeze it back up. I'm watching you guys. Keep those elbows glued to the side. You got it. 10 more. Come on. Eight, seven, six. And rest, good. Right to the bicep, let's go. Arm straight, let's go right into it. Arm straight and you're on, let's go. Pull, get yourself really good resistance here. Pull, keep it in line with your shoulder. Good pull, come on. You got it. Good. And rest right there. Nice job. Okay, we only have one more superset left. So, this one here I'm going to show you. And 
Close it. And we'll do it this way. Okay, so facing the anchor, we've got, <sighs> so I've got my blast off to my down dog. So my legs are spread apart. I come down to my child's pose, come up to my plank, downward dog, look at my feet. Back to my solid plank, child's pose, plank, downward dog. All right, get ready. We're stretching this out. We're facing the anchor. I'm gonna have you come with me. If you haven't started already, let's go. Okay, my feet are spread apart. So I've got my child's pose. Come back to my solid plank. Downward dog, or my pike. Look at my feet. Back to my plank. And just make this flow. Nice, good stretch in the back. Keep going. Ten more seconds, just feel that flow. And rest, good. The next one we're just gonna do is our T rotation. So in our plank right here, solid plank, we're gonna just come up, rotate right here, back down, rotate to the other side. Now the trick here is to use these cords, pull them for resistance so they're right next to your shoulder. So you keep everything in line. So it's pull, make sure it stays in line. Don't let it pull forward. It stays in line with your shoulder. That's the trick here. Pull it down, stay in line. Keep it in line with my shoulder and pull it. So you should feel that tension when you lift up and you're on. So if you're doing that correctly, you're gonna feel that tension. Keep it in line with your shoulder, but down, don't lose that plank form. Don't lose that plank. 10 more seconds. And rest right there, good. We're gonna go right back to the other one, to the down dog, child's pose, plank, down dog. Now, if you want and challenge yourself, you can add a push up in to that plank, okay? So let's get ready. So that would look like, so we've got our child's pose, child's pose, come up to your plank, push up, down dog. Now, when you do that push up, I want you to spread your arms a little further apart. So if you have a mat, they're actually going to be far apart. So we're going to get more of our chest. So the line with my shoulders, a nice wide one. Okay. So you're on the clock if you haven't started already. So you're, you're, yep. They're far apart. They're not like a normal in front of your chest. They're kind of out here. Nice wide. So if you have a mat, they're almost on either side of the mat and you'll feel that push up a little different because it's gonna hit more of your chest than your tries. Our triceps we usually get when we keep it nice underneath of our chest, nice and wide base. We can get more of that chest and you'll know cause you'll feel it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go right into our plank with our, our T rows. Get ready. Shake it out, and you're on the clock. Last one, let's go. Last move of the day, you're on. Now, concentrate, keep it in line with your shoulder. Don't let it come up forward. So you wanna rotate all the way around, rotate your hip, so your hip is coming up. You can do this, rotate your hip, alternating size. Good. Come on, rotate it around, you got it. Nice job. Nice job. For five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Yes, nice job. 